This is Tonight Alive. Over the course of three albums and countless shows, the Australian band has attracted a worldwide following. Now, on the verge of releasing album number four, it's safe to say the world is at their feet. This is Jenna. You may know her as the vocalist from Tonight Alive. You're about to know her for even more. Here is Jenna's Guide to Life. So you mentioned something before um, about how the these people kind of wanted to make you different from the guys in the band. Mm. I mean, I can't imagine that was a cool conversation to have. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't even feel cool asking you about it. But was I, it like, I mean, how did that go? The first time that happened was for The Edge. And like, I remember one of the guys at Sony <coughs> saying to me, it's okay. He said to me like, you know, we, don't, we just don't want to see you in a band t-shirt and like ripped jeans and um, a beanie again. See, so you, you kind of wear that all the time. and. Again, like this is a man that I really cared about and like he was a good person that wanted the best of the band, but like these subliminal weird little things ca came through them all the time. Like, so he was saying, we want you to pop. And pop was this big word. Like, we need you to pop. You need what to like- What does that mean? <laughs> mean you need to stand out. Right, okay. And like, I remember the meeting and they were kind of like, I, I said, I want to reference TLC. Like I want to be wearing an outfit, like this space futuristic hip hop thing in the edge and that the only like essence that you get of that is with the black cargo pants that's wearing you can't even see in the video basically like i just hate so much that i was wearing this push-up bra with like a see-through shirt mm -hmm. like i just hate so much they did that and i was so self-conscious because i didn't want to show my midriff mm -hmm. and i was trying to get the stylist to like stitch it up so that it sat higher so that i wasn't showing so much skin because i'm kind of conservative mm -hmm. it turns out <laughs> and, um, on, on camera, fair enough. I'm a conservative person, yeah. And um, I don't know. That was the first time that happened. And the set for that video, on the set for that video, there were like 30 or more people on like the other side of the camera, watching playback, waiting to like fix the hair and makeup and the clothes and like touch up things and the lights. And it was a big production. And um, I just cried in between nearly every take oh because God. I was so stressed and I had so many people being like. Can you just soften your face a little bit when you sing? Because you look a little bit, it's a little bit too harsh. And I do make crazy weird faces when I sing, but like, I don't know. It was just kind of fucking my head up. I was only 21 or 22 when we made that. And, um, and do you think that was it? Like that was, that was how life was going to be for you? Like you were kind of, kind of be put in this position every day mm. for the rest of your career? Or did you I know that remember. was wrong? And I felt wrong. Yeah. I felt so wrong. And I remember leaving to go to the bathroom to call a friend. Because I was just like, this is fucked up. And uh, yeah, and there was a meeting when I when I got the dreadlocks. I got these synthetic dreads put in, and um, they they didn't even they didn't look perfect. And I knew that, but I was just so psyched that I was looked, fulfilling a vision. Badass. Thanks. It was it was a, a Ella Hooper cut killing Heidi mm -hmm. reference. And um, yeah, I put them in. The label really didn't like them, and they called a meeting with me. And I remember sitting with three the guys in our team at a table like. And they're like, look, like, doing this kind of thing, like, really, like, really sorry to have to say this to you, but, like, we don't get it. And, like, we just, it, they put in right and, like, doing this whole thing where I felt like I was being inspected. And yeah, I was just yeah, sitting yeah. there, I was, I was on my own, I had no backup, like, I had none of the guys with me. And it was just this moment where I really had to stand up for myself and I was like, you don't understand. That's actually what the problem is. It's not that I've done something wrong or, so I don't know, that, that, there were moments like that. and that, Basically, I, I was kind of like, they made a bargain with me in a way where it was like, if you really want to, you can have the green box braids, which it became from the dreadlocks. You can have that for one video if you go blonde and do like a more commercial, like friendly look for drive. And I was like, okay, like it's like I had to take what I was given in a way. Wow. Mm. I mean, that's kind of in some convoluted and twisted way, giving you a bit of power in that situation. Like they gave you, you had bargaining power in that. What weird. would happen if you said no? Do you reckon then? <laughs> I feel like funding would go, like right. attention yeah, would okay. go, but they'd invested so much in the record and it wasn't a fight. It was like everyone just wanted that record to do so well. Yeah. That was the facts. Like everyone just wanted to be successful. It's just unfortunate, like the industry and the direction that we're being pushed in, you know, totally squashed us. Right. Instead of making us free. And and then the team that you're working with now have just said the directive of just do what you want, come yeah. to until you're finished. It's kind of awesome. That's it's amazing. That's pretty it. fucking epic. And the result was Underworld, so that seems yeah. like you're in your element now, you're in your arena. Yeah, and it's really, it's really nice like having the trust from the people that we work with, because that's something I've always wanted. 
I always feel like I'll come up with ideas and people go, mm, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, give me a break. Like, song comes from my body. Like, this came from my heart and soul. It comes from my, like, voice. Like, I'm putting myself out there hardcore with this. Please just let me follow it up with the visual to match. Like, please let me, like, please just let me be, like, mm. an artist like fully that's I don't know it's just a weird thing where you're compromising and you're meeting people in the middle all the time and it's really nice to be you know almost 10 years old as a band and finally be in these relationships that are so supportive and encouraging and and actually just fully connect and understand mm. us <laughs>